Hello and welcome to the first pre-lab tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, mean and median and displaying it with this histogram. So uh, this is the applet that we'll be using for this pre-lab and when you open it there will be some sort of histogram that opens uh, generated by some data. Uh, the data as you can see is visualized here by these red dots. So you can see here between negative 1 and negative 2 there are three red dots as indicated by this bar with the three. Uh, there's a lot more here between 0 and negative 1. It looks like there's a large cluster here. As you can see, the darker reds are coming where the data is stacking on top of each other. You can also see here that it's prompting me to click. So if I click anywhere on this graph, it will add a data point wherever I click. So here I added a number between negative 2 and negative 3, and this 1 came up. I can also do the same here, add one there. I can make the middle taller. And as I add points, uh, the median and mean are all adjusting. So let's go ahead and uh, try a new example. If you want to try to make your own histogram, uh, at the very bottom you'll see select distribution to sample, and uh, we're going to do build your own. So when we do that, it'll start with one data point at zero, but everything else is essentially fresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, a bimodal distribution. Okay, and as you can see, I'm adding, making kind of two bulks here. All right, and maybe. Okay, so here I've made uh, what appears to be somewhat of a bimodal distribution. Uh, what we can see here is this applet reports uh, the median and mean. Here, these two measures of center are right around zero, which isn't very useful for us given, given that most of the data is located either around two or negative two. So something interesting to consider there. It also reports the standard deviation, something that you uh, may not necessarily know yet, but you will learn uh, in future lectures of STATS 250. Uh, tells you the number of points that are in your data set as well. Uh, so uh, in this pre-lab you're going to be ending up comparing the mean and, mean and median uh, of whatever distribution you create and trying to make it so that one is bigger than the other. Uh, last thing you'll need to be able to know how to do is to uh, take an image of this and upload it for your pre-lab. Uh, to do that it depends on whether you're on a Mac or PC. Currently I am on a Mac and one way I can do um, a screenshot is to press command then shift and four all at the same time if you do this correctly your cursor will uh, have kind of this um, this cross here and what you can do is now click and drag uh, over what you want to take an image of and that now appears on my desktop so if I go check out my desktop I have this screenshot right here and I can upload this from, if uh, this was the image from my pre-lab, I could upload this. Uh, if you're on Windows, there is an application called Snipping Tool. It's, uh, you can s use your uh, search function to try to find that. And the functionality is very similar. Just click and drag the area that you want and save the image. So that should help you in uh, getting started with your first pre-lab. Have fun!